I'm Naveen Agrawal, Senior Product Manager for Avalara, and I'm going to demo advanced projection rules. Here in Avalara's user portal, you can locate this capability under settings, all Avatex settings, and custom rules. Under the advanced rules tab, you can see all the rules you have created, and you can also create the new ones. Now I'm going to walk you through a common business practice where you are selling one line item along with some services and maybe a piece of software, but it all comes as one SKU from your ERP system. So in this example, we're selling camera, which is a piece of hardware along with the warranty, the maintenance agreement, and a software to edit the photos in the cloud. All this comes as one line item from your ERP system but for taxability purposes, these are three different items. One is a piece of hardware, a physical good, and another one is a service agreement, and the third one is a digital software hosted in the cloud. I'll show you how easy it is to set up an advanced rule and create the scenario right. So I'm going to create an advanced rule. Name it camera bundle give it an effective date and choose one of the rule types. For this one, it's bundled item allocation. These rule types are already created templates to get you started for your particular use case scenarios. And in this rule, in the when section, I'm going to define the criteria when this rule gets triggered. And in the allocate section, I'm going to define the allocation scheme. So my criteria here is that you need to take a look at my item description. And if it contains these keywords, camera bundle, then I want you to allocate that line item into three different ones. And basically I want 80% of that to go to the camera hardware, which is Avalara's tax code PB0010300. And then I want you to allocate 5% of this to the warranty agreement, which is a service. And then 15% of this should be my software as a service. So basically in this rule, whenever Evertex sees a line item called camera bundle, it will split that line item across three different ones into an 80% one, 5% and 15% one with these respective tax codes mapped to it. I'm going to save this rule. And then I'll show you how this rule acts on transaction by transaction basis. Here I have a transaction drafted, which is a camera selling a camera into the Washington state. And you can see it's a hundred dollar line item with tax calculated on it. I'm going to edit this item and change the description from camera to camera bundle. Save the line item again, and then recalculate taxes on it. After recalculating, you can see there are three line items instead of one. The rule actually looked at the line item description camera bundle and allocated it across three different ones based on our allocation scheme. So you can see there's one line item, $80 worth, which is for the camera hardware, $5 for warranty and $15 for software. And then it applies the appropriate tax rates for that jurisdiction for these three different line items. So now you can see how easy it is to set up an advanced rule and handle complex taxability scenarios like this one. Thank you.